Hi children. Did you notice this picture? Did you find anything? What is this about? Yes, these are the newspaper cuttings, right? Mm. And did you notice anything in this figure, in these pictures? Yes, see how well the newspapers are arranged, right? Uh, the headings with very dark headings, then all the passages down, all the paragraphs, how neatly they are aligned, right? How they are all doing? Yes, they are, they are doing with the help of computers, right? So, now we are going to study how to align a page mm, using MS Word. Mm, how to align a page in MS Word. Sorry, using not in MS Word. Mm, so, that is we are going to learn now. Okay. So, how to make columns and enter text. Mm, see here, look in the picture how well they have arranged the newspaper passages in different columns right you can see the columns here hmm? how well they have arranged right so now we are going to study the steps hmm? so first thing after writing or after selecting the paragraph that you want to make as column you have to go to the layout tab page layout tab on the page layout tab you can see an icon of columns like this in our first figure and there is an arrow down in that arrow we have several options like one two three left right etc so what you have to do if you want one then you have to select it only one column mm? then you have to press ok ok or you have to just select it only mm? if you want three or four columns or more than that then what you have to do you have to press on the last option you can see here more columns so if you press it you can see here a box like this mm? then here in this you can specify the number of columns and if you want spacing between the columns more you have to uh, edit it also then you have to click ok hmm? so this is how we can arrange columns in ms word so now we are uh, i'm going to show you how to arrange column in our ms word window I have written a paragraph here. First I want to select it. Then fully select. Then I am going to click the page layout tab. Okay. And on that you can see columns. In that side you can see an arrow. There are numbers like 1, 2, 3. I am selecting 3. Now you can see the change in columns, right? Hmm? It appears as three columns. Now again I am selecting it and pressing columns and I want more columns now. Hmm? Here you can see one, two, three, left and right. Hmm? But I want more. So I am going to equal column width. I am uh, clicking it and I am giving another width not equal i am giving something else that is why i have changed that tick mark hmm? then i am making columns to four okay now here how it looks like this hmm? then i am pressing okay you can see four columns here with the widths and spacing that i have mentioned okay this is how our columns look now again i am selecting that and clicking columns and make it as one so it appears in the previous form so you can enter text like this okay and you can align your text how your alignment or if you want to change the fonts um, in the column uh, or if you want to make the font size bigger that also you can do uh, 
in this okay hmm? 